Are you ready for some jaw-dropping news from the Formula One world? While the races on the track might not have been as thrilling as we hoped in 2024, off-track drama has been heating up. We've got some mind-blowing bombshells to discuss, Daniel Ricciardo's unexpected return to Red Bull and Sebastian Vettel's comeback to F1. It's been quite the season of surprises, and today we're diving deep into these shocking revelations. So, buckle up and join us in this video as we uncover the latest twists and turns in the F1 universe. Here we begin. In the world of car racing, there's lots of drama happening right now. Lewis Hamilton, a famous racer, surprised everyone by deciding to join Ferrari. Meanwhile, there's a big fight happening within the Red Bull racing team. This drama is making things intense. And guess what? Now people are talking about Max Verstappen, another top racer, possibly joining Mercedes, which is a big deal because it's unexpected. Also, people are wondering about Adrian Newey, who works with Red Bull Racing. They're not sure if he'll stay with the team because of all this drama. Ricciardo's mid-season Red Bull return. It's like a rumor that just won't disappear. I strongly feel that Daniel Ricciardo will eventually return to Red Bull Racing. The idea of him making this move during a championship season adds even more excitement. Red Bull Racing has a history of surprising moves like this. If Sergio Perez doesn't perform well and Ricciardo gets promoted from Red Bull's sister team, it could happen sooner than we think. When Ricciardo first joined Red Bull, not many people expected him to outperform his teammate, who was a four-time world champion. But in 2014, that's exactly what he did. Even though Mercedes and Hamilton were winning championships, Ricciardo was proving himself as a future champion if given the right car. In 2014, an Australian racer, Daniel Ricciardo, won three Grand Prix races. His first win was in Canada, making him the fourth Australian to achieve this in F1. Surprisingly, his teammate Vettel didn't win any races that year. Ricciardo did really well, finishing third in the driver's standings, which was way better than Vettel, who was considered more experienced. This shows how things can change quickly. In October, it was announced that Vettel would leave Red Bull at the end of the season to join Ferrari, even though he had a year left on his contract. This meant Ricciardo became the senior driver after just one season, with a new teammate, Daniel Kvyat, joining for 2015. Unfortunately, Red Bull's car in 2015, the RB11, wasn't as good as they hoped. They fell behind teams like Ferrari and Williams, while Mercedes continued to dominate. The problem was the Renault engine in their car. Despite Ricciardo doing better than Kvyat in qualifying, he ended up finishing eighth in the championship, just three points behind Kvyat. In 2016, Red Bull Racing had a better car, and Daniel Ricciardo was often near the front of the pack. But the Mercedes drivers, Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, were still leading the championship. One memorable moment from that season happened in Monaco. Ricciardo got his first pole position and was leading the race in the wet conditions. But during a pit stop, there was a mistake, and his special tires weren't ready. This mistake cost him the lead, and Hamilton took advantage of it. Ricciardo was really upset after the race, saying, I've been screwed two weeks in a row. He was referring to another race in Spain, where he had issues with his strategy. In that race, his new teammate Max Verstappen won, becoming the youngest driver to ever win a Red Bull race at 18 years old. After Verstappen replaced Kvyat in 2016, Red Bull had a stable driver lineup. Even though Mercedes was still the best, Red Bull had some great moments during the two and a half years Ricciardo and Verstappen raced together. Ricciardo won several races during this time, the 2016 Malaysian Grand Prix, the 2017 Azerbaijan Grand Prix, the 2018 Chinese Grand Prix, and finally, he redeemed himself by winning the 2018 Monaco Grand Prix. Verstappen also had his share of victories, including the 2017 Malaysian Grand Prix, the 2017 Mexican Grand Prix, the 2018 Austrian Grand Prix, and the 2018 Mexican Grand Prix. Many people in the racing world expected Ricciardo and Verstappen to keep driving together because they were a really talented duo, they just needed a better car to challenge the top teams. But then Ricciardo took a big risk. Fast forward to 2023, when Ricciardo got back again with Red Bull as a reserve driver. This was a big deal because he had decided to rejoin the team after leaving in 2018. It marked the beginning of another busy year for him. 
However, his time on the sidelines turned out to be helpful. It gave him a chance to think about things and take care of himself better. Ricciardo reflected on this, saying, I realized that I was probably just doing too much sometimes and probably even just not prioritizing myself in terms of my body and my recovery and all that. But he didn't stay on the sidelines for long. After driving the Red Bull RB19 car in a tire test at Silverstone, the team decided to bring him back. Nick de Vries was let go from Alpha Tauri, and Ricciardo took his place starting from the Hungarian Grand Prix. There had been rumours that Ricciardo was back in good form after rejoining Red Bull, and the test at Silverstone confirmed it. He was very close to Verstappen's pole position time from the recent Grand Prix weekend, which got everyone excited. Ricciardo's comeback year was full of ups and downs. Just when things were looking good, he got injured during a crash in Zandvoort's FP2. This forced him to sit out five race weekends while he recovered. During Ricciardo's absence, Liam Lawson filled in and did a great job. This led to discussions about who Alpha Tari should pick for their driver lineup going forward, Ricciardo, Lawson or Yuki Tsunoda. In the end, Alpha Tauri chose to stick with Ricciardo and Tsunoda for the 2024 season. But there's another factor to consider. Sergio Perez, who now occupies the Red Bull seat that Ricciardo used to have. Perez had a tough time in 2023, especially compared to his teammate. He struggled in qualifying but still finished second in the driver's standings. Now, he has another chance to show what he's made of at Red Bull. Also, he really wants his old seat back at Red Bull. He thinks it would be amazing to finish his racing career with them. On the Beyond the Grid podcast, he said, I'm not going to say when it'll happen, but getting back into it, doing the test in July, working with Simon Rennie again, that's the dream. Ending my career with Red Bull would be perfect. I'm not thinking about the end yet, but if I go back there, I'll make sure to finish there. In 2018, Everyone was shocked when Ricciardo and Verstappen stopped being teammates at Red Bull. Sadly, we never got to see what they could have achieved with a championship-winning car. But now, there's a chance we might see it happen. Vettel's F1 return. There's a lot of uncertainty swirling around Red Bull and Christian Horner, their team principal, might be thinking of bringing in Sebastian Vettel to help stabilize things. Vettel and Horner have a long history together and Vettel has a strong interest in sustainability, which could align well with Red Bull's goals. Sebastian Vettel, 36, could potentially take on a senior role at Red Bull, possibly replacing Helmut Marko. Meanwhile, Toto Wolff, the boss of Mercedes F1 team, has praised Vettel as a Formula One legend. With a seat opening up at Mercedes next season due to Lewis Hamilton's move to Ferrari, there's speculation that Vettel might make a comeback with Mercedes. He himself hasn't ruled out the possibility of returning to F1, even though he left at the end of 2022, so there's a lot of talk and intrigue about where Vettel might end up. He also mentioned to the Neue Zürcher Zeitung newspaper that Toto Wolff, the head of the Mercedes F1 team, hasn't called him about returning to racing. They've only exchanged a few text messages. However, Vettel isn't too worried about it. He still feels he has plenty of time being 36. Even though watching races from home can be tough for him, Vettel doesn't regret retiring from racing after a tough time at Aston Martin in 2022. He believes he's learned much about himself this year away from the track. Being on the sidelines seems to have made him think deeply, raising many questions. When asked if he's saying a definite no to coming back to F1, Vettel replied with a no. This suggests that while he doesn't have any active plans yet, he's not ruling out the possibility of returning. He sees life as a journey and might eventually decide to return to Formula One, but for now, he's content without racing. He also clarified that he hasn't firmly said yes or no to a comeback. He also mentioned that he's due for a medical check, which is required to keep his racing license. Keeping the door open for a return gives Toto Wolff and Mercedes some decisions to make. Wolff praised Vettel, calling him a great guy and a legend in the sport. He believes Vettel still has the speed to compete. So, what do you think of the 2024 bombshells at Formula One? Comment below and subscribe for more.